Hello ladies and gents, Rook here and welcome to Another Run Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials. First let's start off with, and I'm going to give you guys a quick review of what we covered last tutorial. Um, last tutorial we covered picture in picture. As you can see here we have an, one video inside of another. That way when you play it, you'll see two videos playing in the same one and it's good for annotations at the end of your video. So be sure to check that out. I might have an annotation, annotation on the screen to take you to that video, but be sure to check out the previous episodes and show you further and why my layout's different than yours and, and additional items like that. But for this episode we're gonna be coloring <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. We're gonna be covering color correction and color balance, which are two adjustment tools. So let's begin. First I'm gonna select the clip I want to change and uh, we're gonna go to so let me go all the way just to one. That way it's not two. I'm just gonna select this clip right here. So yeah, the first one we're going to cover today, out of the two, out of, we're going to co cover color balance. And uh, once you have a clip selected, you'll be able to select auto, which automatically balances the color inside of your video and adjusts. I don't know if you guys notice a difference there, but if you pay attention, you see it's, there's a lot of glare and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of um, additional like light that you don't need. Basically, if you hit auto, you will automatically adjust the video, making it a little more clear and better and the lighting won't be as much. Then you can do match color which if you have a second clip here you can match the color of that clip. Let's say you er video recorded a video earlier in, earlier in the day and uh, you then you recorded another video that was like during lunchtime and you wanted to match the color of both videos you just select the color with that and then you bring it to this and it'll have it and it'll, it'll match the color with the, pre the video you chose from which is a pretty cool feature. Um, honestly, you guys, I don't use these features often because I honestly just like to leave it basic. But if you're making like a movie or a, a cool film of, or a skit, sometimes you'll end up using color balance because you want to make it look at more professional. Then you got white balance, which is the same thing. You can click on these areas here and it will actually adjust the color of the video itself. You see it just gave my little blue click on click on all these different colors and you see it just changes it a lot like to the color you select now let's go on next is the skin tone balance and this is the same way you click and adjust the color and uh, basically just for your mainly for your skin and to make it look more professional at the end like like the rest of these colors now let's go on to color correction here and you'll be able to click here. This is basically, this is going to be darker, this is going to be brighter. And you'll be able to adjust it like so. Now that looks kind of creepy. But you'll be able to adjust them right here. And it's just basically the lighting of, of the video, this part. And then you can adjust these individually inside or you can go on from completely from the middle. Now this one here, on the other hand, is the saturation I actually it says right here if you go over it which is a nice feature it will actually tell you what it is adjust color saturation and that's basically how much color you want in the video period like you want a lot of color or you have no color making it basically black and white so yeah that, that adjusts the color of your video and the details of the color now this is the temperature and uh, you'll be able to actually you see it goes bluer like as in it looks, makes it look a little colder and then you got a little bit warmer there like with the sun more bulging out and of that sort. But yeah, that's about it for the colors and color correction and color balance you guys. If you have any questions be sure to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Catch you guys next tutorial. Later.